For this lesson, use the New Design from File tool to open the Supercharger Complete Fusion Archive file and save it to your active project. In Fusion 360, there are a number of different ways to interrogate or inspect the assembly to help you find out better how it was created or even just to remind yourself how you created it. A collection of tools exists under the Inspect menu where you can measure components on the assembly, measure distances between faces to better understand what the size of the components are, measure angles, measure a number of different things. Also under Inspect is Interference. This will allow you to check and make sure there is no complications in the assembly. You can either select individual components or use different window selection options. Here I'll select a group of components and tell it to compute the interference. There are several items that come up. Most are just simple mating conditions or threads that don't quite align between the threaded bolt and the hole with physical threads. But there's one that comes up that's fairly significant. It's spacer 2 interfering with vein 1. This is a significant interference with nearly 469 cubic millimeters. So we'll click OK, and then under the Inspect menu again, I'll select Section Analysis. I'll pick on a face, and then start pushing a section through the model. As I do this, you can see the different components colored separately, and I can see where this overlap is in the spacer component and the vein component. Now I can go in and address this design issue. If I click OK, it will save the section analysis to the browser where I can restore it. I can also just turn the section analysis off and come back to it at any time. Another type of interrogation can happen when we select a component, right click on it, and ask it to select the referencing joints. It will display the joints in the model and if we have the Joints folder expanded, we can see which joints are connected to that component. Here we see there are four different joints that reference that component. We can go the other way as well. Clicking in the canvas to clear the selection, I'll find another joint and ask it to select the components. Here it highlights the back cover and one of the bolts. It will also highlight them in the browser, the rear cover, and the seventh instance of this bolt. While working in the assembly, there are a few different times where you might want to see a component, but not have it interfere with your selection. There are a few options for this. One is the opacity. If I right click on the rear cover, go down to opacity control, I can change the opacity level of the component. With the opacity turned down, the component still selects just like it would. It's possible to choose components through it by clicking your mouse button and holding. Fusion 360 will present a series of options, faces, edges, other geometry you might want to select. The more options there are behind the mouse, the more options there will be in the dialog. What we want to do is make sure that we can reach through that rear cover and grab the gears. So coming back to the rear cover, we can right click, come down to selectable, unselectable, and toggle it to unselectable. We'll see that there's a little icon change, and now we can reach right through and grab the gears and actuate the assembly. Another option for controlling the view is to select a component that you want to focus on, right click, and select Isolate. This will turn the visibility off for all other components. To restore the view, simply come up to the top level and select Unisolate All. Now you're able to view all the components just as they were before you change the visibility. Finally, I'd like to know what the center of mass is for the assembly. So, one more trip to the Inspect pulldown. Going just below Section Analysis, we'll select the center of mass and pick everything on the screen. When we click OK, the center of mass will be calculated and it will be displayed through the model. 
so that we can visually refer to where it is and check to see how far off center, how forward or back it is. This also becomes an item in the analysis folder so it can be turned off and turned on at any time.